Good morning, everyone. So I was in Vancouver actually yesterday and I posted the Vancouver vlog. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but I was like so in love with Vancouver yesterday and unfortunately we had to go home early. So I made a plan to come back here today. I'm not staying overnight or anything. I'm just going to go to eat and walk around, like maybe walk around the seawall because I just think it's so beautiful. It's really sunny out. It's a gorgeous day. It's like 30 degrees. And um, I just really wanted to kind of get in a nice, like walking around the city kind of day before fall because believe it or not, it is, I think it's September 1st, unless it's August 31st. So we have fall like creeping up super fast here. And this is actually like extremely unusual weather for it to be this hot. Usually I would say it's like, I don't know, like 17 to 20 degrees at this time. Usually, yeah, usually like around 20 degrees. So to be 30 degrees is crazy. And I'm really looking forward to having a nice day. So I'm going to go to the Fairmont Pacific Rim to the cafe there. I think it's called like Giovanni or something like that. And it's just like a really, really nice cafe. I really enjoy it. Um, I'm going to get something to eat. I'm going to have like a iced coffee or something like that and then I will walk around and I'll show you guys some of the seawall and just like how beautiful Vancouver is so keep watching okay guys so this is where I'm going to eat it's in the Fairmont here and I'm just gonna show you like the outside um, so I parked pretty far and I've been carrying my banana with me for like 10 blocks and I've literally not seen one garbage so hopefully I will see one in a second. <laughs> so I got a chicken panini and an iced latte and I'm just sitting outside. <laughs> So I'm just in the bathroom of the Fairmont and um, I just finished eating and I wanted to show you guys my outfit. So I'm super casual um, just for walking around <laughs> town. Um, my daddy hat and my Lululemon tank with my Kenzie Wallace bag and um, my New Balance sneakers. I can show you guys inside the Fairmont. This is the Pacific Rim Hotel. It's really stunning. Um, there is a restaurant up here I've always wanted to go to. I'm just gonna go check it out. This is like one of the nicest hotels in Vancouver. I really recommend this hotel if you guys come to Vancouver. It's expensive, but it's gorgeous. So the restaurant I really wanna try is Botanist. It looks like they have a really nice brunch. Open, but it's gorgeous. <laughs> you can see all the cool, like, plants and stuff up there. It's so pretty. And this is the lounge, and they have amazing drinks here if you want to come, like, in the evening. And they usually have a live, like, piano player or a singer somebody playing the guitar or something like that. It's really, really nice. Oh my gosh, these are live. Wow. Thank you. This is 
like a new area here where they have this is usually like where you ballet your car and I mean it still is but they have live music and they have picnic tables it's like such a nice idea so I'm gonna show you guys like where the cruise ship is and Canada place it is crazy busy here today and I'm pretty certain it's because there must be cruise ships at the terminal because this is like insane. I, you'll see. Yep, here is the cruise ship. We love Alaska. So it must be an Alaskan cruise. You guys, it is crazy busy with pedestrians in the city today, like insane. The great thing about like if you come into Vancouver on a cruise is the city is like pretty small so you can kind of like go everywhere really quickly. So you definitely get around fast. So right across here um, from the cruise ship, there are like some places to eat. A lot of the places are like kind of tourist trappy, but it's not, there are still some good places too. This is really cool, this big teardrop here. I've never been to this restaurant, Mahoney and Sons. They do have another location I've seen too. It might be all right. And then, so this is a view of like Stanley Park and Cole Harbor. You can see the um, harbor planes, these planes, uh, you can go to Vancouver Island. It takes like 20 minutes or something like that. Um, and then in the distance, you guys can see the Lionsgate Bridge. You guys see that way over there? Kind of past where you see the Chevron sign, the gas station in the water you will see Lionsgate Bridge. <laughs> oh, see that brown building like far off, kind of by the water the, with the tower? That is the Western Bay Shore and that's where we stayed last night, no, two nights ago in my video. And this is just like some of the skyline. And then, um, I thought Cactus Club was over here. Where the heck's Cactus Club? Cactus Club restaurant should be around here. This is a nice place to come if you want to check out the seawall and like have a drink. I didn't know there was a, a place there, but it looks like you can get like beverages and stuff. It's kind of nice if you're doing your little seawall journey and, and you know, you guys, you want to stop or something. I don't know how long the seawall is in total. It's probably like, I would say at least like at minimum 10 kilometers. If you really want to do the whole thing, it's pretty long, but if you have a bike, um, I definitely recommend it. And it's, yeah, it's really, really nice to bike. Like, amazing, actually. It can be quite busy. Like, there's points where, you know, you got to be careful when you stop your bike. Like, you don't just want to stop in the middle of the path. Like, you got to make sure you get off to the side because there'll be, like, so many other cyclists coming up behind you. But it's very beautiful. And the seawall will take you like pretty much all around the whole city I think so it's definitely like a huge thing in my opinion like if you come to Vancouver you have to check out the seawall it's just so pleasant <laughs> If you guys are into boats as much as I am I'm like really into boats I love looking at boats so much this one is beautiful the name is single malt and I don't know if you guys can see but like just look at how nice their table settings are um, inside they have like flowers fresh flowers and everything is just so stunningly made up <laughs> this is the building I would choose to live in in Vancouver um, so it's like hard to see now but up top a lot of the units have like a gorgeous big patio and a lot of them have like planters and trees and they're really pretty and then look at this unit with the kind of like lagoon the pond here it's just a gorgeous building 
it might be my favorite. There is another building I really, really like in Yale Town too. But this one is amazing. Snuck onto the dock, but I don't think I can get very far because I think it's all private past here. But I just really wanted to check it out. I guess this is a boat that takes you on a tour. It's kind of nice. It's a big boat. to be actually like 30 degrees downtown Vancouver is really insane um, usually like it will be 30 in the valley and then like 25 out here so the fact that it's actually this hot is just like so rare and amazing it's such a freaking stunning day I cannot stop thinking that and I can't stop saying that so hot I had to get myself a drink at Starbucks so I got a ice green tea a lemonade and I just discovered this like really cute little area off of Robson Street so let me show you guys um they're all like cute little apartments and then look at this place isn't this like a cute restaurant I've never seen this restaurant before in my life I've never known about it um, it's an Italian restaurant. It looks so pretty. Like, look at the terrace. This is Robson Street that I'm on, you guys. I just went into the Starbucks here. So this is Robson and Thurlow. Um, there's Banana Republic. I just went in there, actually, and I can't believe how nice this stuff is. I order from Banana Republic all the time, but, like, I don't know what's up with that location. And, like, they just have really nice stuff. It's actually really expensive, though. Like, I've seen a pair of jeans, and they were, like, $390 which is very odd yeah so this is like the famous Robson Street it's changed over the last two decades a lot I would say because the retail is just so expensive um, to have a place here it's just like astronomical so um, the stores have definitely like shifted and changed throughout the years actually you guys I'm gonna go to Sephora and get this eyeshadow stuff I've always wanted to get okay so this is what I've been meaning to try is this powder by Anastasia um, I think I'm gonna get like the ash brown maybe um, I might try it before I buy it so I ended up getting the ash brown from Anastasia Beverly Hills the um, I forget what it's called like the what is it called something powder and so she actually put it on me she put it on this eyebrow hair and I feel like you can't tell so I feel like that's actually like the way I want it um, I feel like it's a perfect match so that was a success this is the huge Victoria's Secret I should have showed you guys from afar but it's like this massive two-story store it's like a flagship location I guess this Gucci looks so pretty inside I want to go in and film but like I'm kind of scared because it's so quiet in there. Look at that Dionysus bag that's split with the ostrich and the um, snake skin. This store is all redone now. It's beautiful. Like such a nice renovation job. That bag, that python bag with the bamboo handles is just amazing. So pretty. More Dionysus bags. 
I'm really into the red Dionysus for some reason. Yeah, what a pretty boutique. It's all redone. This Dior book tote pattern is so beautiful, you guys, um, with the birds. And I think this is, is this called the D-Light? I can't remember, but it's so beautiful, the embroidery, but the white would just give me so much anxiety. I feel like it'd pick up so much dirt. Okay guys, that brings me to an end of my video. Um, thank you so much for spending the day with me. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tour of Vancouver City. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.